Hey guys, RC here back. Episode 11, Football Manager 19. Uh, we are at the end of the season. So a couple of things. Let's catch up on matches. Uh, we've been in, We've been doing all right. Uh, we beat uh, the... Well, we played the strongest uh, last episode. We lost to Blooming. That was rough. Hugo Mesa scored. Uh, we gave up a brace to David Romero. Uh, three to one loss. That was disappointing. Then uh, Royal Pari. 4 nothing win. Sharamoni with all four goals. And that gave him uh, 20 on the season. Set a... Uh, earned earned a goal bonus. And that's, so that's the first 20 goal score I have had in FM19. So... <laughs> Uh, that's crazy. Uh, 2-0 win over Gu Guabira. Charmoni scored two more, so six goals in two matches. Hello, world class. And then, uh, we lost to Potosi. Uh, Sadie Flores gave up an early own goal. Pacheco got one back, and then, uh, we gave up uh, the game winner a few minutes later. So we're playing Wilsterman and always ready to close out the season. Uh, the closing stage of the season. Uh, we're currently in sixth position, tied with Aurora, minus three on goal differential. And uh, so we're doing well there. And, uh, you know, I'm happy. And then overall table, we are up to fourth. So we're doing good there. Uh, let's take a look at the rules again, because there was something about... Okay, so the top teams, okay, your places are affected by, so two teams qualify for group stage, and then one team qualifies for second qualifying round, one team for first qualifying round, and then places are allocated by, so your top team from each half, league positions in the overall table, and then four teams qualify for the South of, the Copa Sudamerica preliminary round. So that's a, a second cup. Copa Libertadores is the primary. I believe that would be like the uh, Champions League in, in, in Europe, I think. And then the... Uh, what's the... The FA Cup is would be like this one, I think. And then they don't have one that's like the Carabao Cup. So they don't have a throwaway. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. What else? Squad. Yeah, so uh, Charmoni sitting 22 goals. Uh, having a hell of a year. Uh, I do need to look at some guys to re-sign. We've made a couple of... We made one contract offer for one of our younger players. But, you know, we're going to have to cull a few this year. You know, we're going to have to probably do that every year is just cull some out, sell some as they get too expensive. So, uh, anyway, let's get to it. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you, yeah, real quick. I went and took a look at job security. I sorted it out just by Argentina and Brazil because that's really the only other places I want to go. So, we've got uh, we've got four available this club in is in the Brazilian third division. I think I'd have a shot at that one. Uh, Atlanta, Moron, and uh, Moron and in the Primera B, which is like league uh, the the championship level in England. Uh, I think uh, Super League is the Premier League in Argentina. So I don't think I'm good enough to get a job there yet. Newell's Old Boys is in Primera B. Santos is in the uh, National First. Uh, and if we look at those guys, let's see. Here's Newell's. So they're three-star, and they are stable, currently sitting in third. And then uh, Santos was way down here. Yeah, right here. So they're currently second, untouchable. So neither one of those jobs are going to come available soon, but I think beyond that, that you know, we want to end up in one of those two nations, because um, if we look at the national first division, of course they're the top Superliga. I mean, I guess you, we could go to Colombia. I mean, that would be the third division, right? 
Because we're currently in 15th, uh, our league is 15th. So, yeah, I guess Colombia, Ecuador, Paraguay. So let's filter that in. Uh, Colombia, Ecuador, Paraguay. Right? So still only four clubs available, but you've got uh, the Honor Division in Paraguay is Second position is Precarious Olympia. Uh, so yeah, that opens up a few more jobs. That may be that may be the place to go. That may be the way to go. Um, I don't think I would jump into uh, like third division is eleventh. We're fifteenth, so I don't think third division would be a good one to jump to. Um, Yes, you know, I'd like to crack the top 10, I suppose. So, Argentina B, Brazil second, and then, you know, then I think into the top five. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll figure that out. All right, we've got uh, five wins against uh, Wilsterman. Uh, they are favorites. We're at home. All right, Fernandez has to step off the field due to injury. Uh, he got injured. He's out for a few days. Uh, you can see all the yellow cards starting to pile up. Uh, Luna, De Luna Diali is injured, but he'll be back uh, hopefully for next match. And Charamoni up top. I think he is two goals away from breaking the league record for goal scoring. The four, the four goals in one match was a new league and club record, so that was good. I like the blue, but the, the stripes. Ugh, I hate stripes. I don't mind speckles, you know, but I don't like stripes too much. All right, Queller's back in goal today. We've had him back in goal after giving the youngster a shot. Get creative. Hey. Hey, baby. Oviedo with a yellow card. Oh, that's a nice header out. Let's clear it. Oh. Offsides, thank God. So what's up? Oh, not much. Okay. What's up? Nothing. I love you. Love you too. Okay. All right. I'm going to talk to some boys. Okay. Evidently, boys did not do the chores they were told to do today uh, again. I don't know why they don't listen, but... Oh, well. Profacio, 74%. He'll rebound a little bit as we get to halftime. I don't know what people average. Let's see. So he's at 73. 78. So about 5%, it looks like. Uh, prove a point. Ovavedo, watch your step. Push forward. Profacio. Terrazas. Good hold up. Pacheco. Tapped away. Come on, fellas. We got the advantage in shots on target. Juarez. Oh, what a run by Sandoval for his second goal of the season. Oh, he put it right on his boot. That was brilliant. Look at the run there. Oh, my gosh. Just plucked it out of the air into the net. That is nice. So somebody made a comment the other day that uh, they said, congrats, doing a good job. South America is so confusing. And and 
they do have some confusing rules but i think we figured out venezuela pretty quick uh we've done pretty well here uh you know so not not too bad uh let's see um pachico oh adrian's back let's try to get him a little match fitness i don't want him playing a ton but 30 minutes should be fine 30 minutes should be okay knock on wood i hope all right there went the off no he just lunged that one right into the box hernandez came out made the play on it All right, building from the back. Flores came way over from the left into the right center. Terrazas plays it back. Profacio lays it out. Flores on the run. Charamoni, number 23. One match left in the season, and he has one goal from equalizing the league record. Come on, boys. Come on, come on. Uh, Bejarano picks up a yellow. Uh, Profacio Sigardia. Come on, boys. Uh, you know what? Let's go. Let's go into. Uh... Okay, there's our sub there. All right, in possession. Let's do a little time wastage. All right. 16th yellow card. Boy, we're just piling those up. Remember, we had already set the league record for cards with, I don't know, 15, 20 games left to play. <laughs> Come on. All right, Flores into the box. Five minutes of stoppage time. Sigarda. Sigardia. Adrian. All right, nice try. Knock a little rust off. He hadn't played in a while. I think he had a torn hamstring. Something like that. Terrazas picks up his third yellow. Weller, Valeas on the flank. <laughs> they can't even cross the ball without hitting somebody in midfield, let alone in the attacking end. Holy crap. Terrazas. All right, nice ball. Was he offsides or did that go out of bounds? That didn't go. Oh, he must have been offsides because I'm like, he didn't go out of bounds. And full time. A nice 2 0 win over Wilsterman. Uh, excellent effort. That's a, that's a nice three points for us. They were third in the table. It's always nice to beat the clubs that are above you. I mean, they were, they were top of the table in the opening leg, and we were able to edge them out. So. That's great. We're back into the Copa Libertadores race. Uh, one to two days. All right, that's fine. I'm okay there. All right, guys. Uh, seven days to our final match against Always Ready. We'll be back in a second. All right, we are back for Always Ready today because we're always ready. Uh, we, we've offered out a few new contracts. Uh, we'll see what happens there. I'll do most of that at the end of the season, though. Hey, hey. Fred. Fred. <laughs> They're in another room with the door shut, and he is not happy. Not happy. <laughs> Come here. 
Come here. Come here. He says, I don't want you. I want to go in that room that I'm not allowed in. <laughs> he may cry the whole match, guys. I apologize. All right. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep Charmoni in. He needs, he's got 33 or 23. He needs one more goal to equalize the league record. Oh, let's, let's go. Let's go, boys. Get him the goal. Get him a brace. It'll be awesome. What I don't want is a ninth minute red card straight off. <laughs> All right, those are pretty nice. I don't mind the diagonal stripe. That looks kind of like a um, like a military uniform, though, like something from Austria or something, you know. All right, Flores, Perfacio, uh, Perfacio signed a new deal with us. Bengalea, oh, he just drives up to the box. Launches it from the next county. You, they're taking too freaking long. Come on, fellas. That was a weird defensive play. Durain. Oh. Uh, I don't know, man. Seemed like a cheap, cheesy call there. Baron Doug. All right, boys, do something. Okay, that's that's something. Not quite what I had in mind. That was a nice inside step. Tons of space at the edge of the box. Ooh, I thought that was in. I thought that was in. Yeah, would work. Okay. Woo! All right, like now shoot right there. Fuck. I either got guys shooting from, from 25 yards or, or they just can't pull the trigger. Like, what's going on right there? Come on, boys. Oh, nice steal. Bengalea. Oh, Charmoni, could this be it? Oh, I thought that was the type, the, the equalizer for the record. Oh, come on. I want him to get the mark so bad. Oh, he was looking inside for him. All right, Terrazas. Charmoni lays it off. Oh, Durain just breaks over the top. Oh, no, an own goal. Oh, that is... Oh. That is horrific. I got to say, I, I never suffered an own goal. So I don't know, but that's got to be the most brutal feeling in the world. Got to be the most brutal. Oh, good block. Good block again. All right, come on, guys. Get a chance created. Juarez. That was deflected. There is nobody in the stands, man. Nobody. They got, like, seven people over here. Sandoval. Charimony. All right. It's a cross. Not very good. Well, he's a striker, not a playmaker, right? 
Oh, they got a few more people up in the top. Okay. They got a few more people up in the top. Where's our fans? Well, we got to have a few people there, right? I'm, I'm looking to see where our fans are. All right, Juarez. Good ball to Ovavedo. Uh, come on. All right, there's a yellow third of the season. Terrazas into the box. No, nobody went for it. Oh. I think Sandoval had a really good opportunity there. It's like they can't just quite pull the trigger sometimes. 14 to 6 on shots. Eighty-six percent passing. Profacio takes takes a step. All right. Well, that was my dad uh, calling to you know. Doesn't matter how old you get, your parents always care about you and are concerned. And uh, so he was calling to let me know he had seen uh, we had a tornado warning in our area, evidently. All right, push forward. Terrazas. If he would have pushed forward, that might have been good. Charimoni's not playing well at all. Well, I mean, he's not playing horribly, but a 6-4 is not great. There's no way I pull him off, right? Oh, come on. All right. God damn it. Uh, I mean, he's not playing bad. What is his crossing? Yeah. A five. Um... A four. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Bindalea, Terrazas. Let's put uh, Luna Diali in for sure. Defensive left. Yeah, let's put him in for Sadie Flores. And then, as soon as we do that, I want to change something tactically. Maybe. Oh, that was a nice dribble over by Flores right before he comes off. Gets his second goal of the season. Nice couple of touches across the face of the goal. That was pretty impressive for a back line player. One, two. Yeah, two touches. Set it up with a goal across, shot across the face of the keeper. That's good. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep going here. I'm gonna demand more. A wide open top of the box. All right, they're focused after that shout. Oh my God, the boss is yelling at us. A bruised ankle. Oh yeah, let's, uh, oh God, do I have anybody? Sigardia? Yeah, let's go ahead and pop him on. Get him off the pitch.
they're up to 10 shots. Push forward. Juarez. Ah, oh, come on. I want the win more than I want the goal record, but I'd like I'd like uh Charamoni to maybe get the win with the record. That would be awesome. <clears throat> Come on, fellas. Luna Diali. Why? Oh, that was a neat little kick out. Knocked away. Sandoval. Luna Diali. Make the play into Pacheco. God damn it. Oh, God, right into somebody's face. You know, you don't think about that very often, but there was a, uh, I saw a video over uh, this week, um, and there was a set piece. I don't remember the guy's name, but y'all probably do. He was a Premier League player, and uh, he was in the wall, and, uh, or no, I'm sorry, there was no wall. The guy was dribbling in, took a shot, just drilled the shot and uh he kind of laid out in front of the ball and took it in the face and and just or in the took it in the leg and it broke his leg and his ankle um just crazy and, and basically ruined his career he was a young player charmoni oh i thought that was the, the magic moment and uh yeah i heard it ruined his career he ended up uh you know he never regained his form for premier league and uh that he was you know he tooled around for a long while he might still be playing but he's playing at a much lower level and uh really uh just you know you think about it you just go damn uh all right yes that was disappointing not the way to end the season we're in fifth all right well let's take a look real quick at where we end up uh yeah we missed the chance to win uh, Flores, six headers. Uh, I'm going to say your defensive work was good. Let's finish the day so we can get a look at the end of the... Now, Always Ready finished 11th, but they were relegated. That was probably from their first half finish. So this looks like the end. So we finished top five. Hello. That's not bad from relegation threatened, huh? So I want to see where we qualify for the cup next year. All right, we got a couple of matches today, it looks like. Really glad we got our first win ever against Orient. That's nice. All right, let's see what this tells us bear with me here so Bolivar finishes on we finished third nice just one point off Wilsterman 26 wins 13 draws 13 defeats and a plus 24 goal differential nothing wrong with that at all 52 matches we had the second highest goal tally with 87 Six best defense, 63 goals allowed, 151 yellows, 13 reds, 62.94 on attendance. All right, I'm just trying to see. All right, let's go to competition. All right, so we finish, uh, well, that's the overall table. So let's go back to here. All right, we finished fourth. 43 points, losing to Petroleum on in, on a goal differential. Staying ahead of Aurora, strongest. That was a big win against them. Awesome. So, Always Ready has been relegated. Guabria is going to be in the relegation playoff. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let's get to where our... 
team uh, team awards are, and uh, we'll be back for that. Okay, so here's our initial budget: one hundred eighty-eight thousand transfer and one point nine one million per year. That's a pretty hefty increase, because uh, <laughs> we were we had a budget of around what? I mean, that's about a million dollar bump. That's crazy. Now it says that we're gonna go. Oh, that's next season's payroll. Um, we can't spend that much because I mean we were still losing money. I mean you know we lost two hundred thousand dollars this year. I guess going into the cup we're gonna need to you know we're gonna need a little more depth. We're gonna need so you know we wanna we wanna start looking at some people. Um, let's see where's our schedule. So we started January 10th, calendar, mm. so January 6th is when the transfer window opened, because yeah, we were playing our friendly before we had players signing and contracts expiring. That was a little weird. So that's a big, big increase. <clears throat> I'm going to have to go in and start scouting some players. Got to see who we're going to have on the club. See if I can get some people that are maybe coming out of contract. And I want to say I skipped this point last season because it took freaking forever. All right, guys. Well, leave a like, subscribe if you don't mind. We're going to go ahead and move into the off season. Um, sorry that, you know, three weeks in, we can't get to the freaking awards, but I don't, I don't know what the deal is there. But uh, anyway, we will see you guys next season. Uh, planning on being back here unless something comes up out of the blue. If it does, we'll come back for that and talk about it. But uh, I do need to look at my roster before I get too much deeper into the offseason. Start scouting some guys that are going to be out of contract. So we will see you next time. Take care. Bye.